Hey, what's up guys? Rumblin' Man coming to you from Florida today. And in this video, if you play acoustic guitar, I'm going to show you a couple guitars that I think you need to know about. So guys, this could be back here on YouTube. I know that at the time this video comes out, it might have been uh, a couple weeks since I last released something. It's Easter season, and so being a worship leader, I've been very busy lately. But yesterday, I kind of had a day off, and I took a little trip uh, to the Tampa, Florida Guitar Center. And um, it was very nice, and I'm going to show you some footage from uh, my journey and what I saw in the acoustic guitar room there. But I was very pleased because Takamini guitars are my favorite acoustic electric guitars. The reason they're my favorite, and I'll make another video about why I like them so much, but I think that they just have the best performance of any acoustic electric guitar on the market. And I saw two really great brand new guitars there yesterday. And they're models that have actually been around for a little while, but they're really wonderful guitars. And I really think you should check one out uh, whenever you look into buying your next acoustic electric guitar. I was really happy to see brand new Takaminis at Guitar Center again. Um, for a while, I haven't seen new talks at Guitar Center so much, and now with it being April 2019, uh, to see a couple in there was a big encouragement for me. And then I saw online today that other people have seen some at Guitar Center too. So that is a thumbs up if you ask me. Um, I think you know stores like Guitar Center and Sam Ash need to get in uh, the best variety of great instruments uh, that they can, and so I'm glad to see them doing so. So I drove to Tampa, uh, headed out to the Guitar Center, which you can see here. I've got some free time in Tampa, Florida today, so I thought that maybe I would drive over and spend a little time chillaxing and parousing here at Tampa Guitar Center. It's gonna be great. So when I walked into the acoustic room, the first guitar that caught my eye was this beautiful Takamina guitar. And this model is called the TAK PTU 214C. And then the finish you're seeing on it is kind of a uh, tobacco sunburst color. And I, I, it just caught my eye because, and I was like shocked. I was like, wow, a brand new talk here at Guitar Center. And not only that, it's astoundingly beautiful. Like I picked it up and I'm like, wow, this is nice. Like the head cap, uh, everything on it was just incredible appointments. Take a listen to it real quick. Beautiful sound um, in, in terms of acoustics. I've always been a Dreadnought guy, so uh, obviously I loved this guitar uh, instantly. Uh, very cool. The, just the wood grain and the gloss finish, the way it all looked together and worked together was just such a beautiful combination. And quite frankly, for the money, I think this is one of the best things you can get. I mean, this is um, a guitar that costs between fifteen and sixteen hundred American dollars. And the thing is, if you look at other brands, what you would find at that price point in my opinion, wouldn't be something quite as nice. Uh, plus, with Takamini, you just can't beat their electronics. That uh, palethetic pickup that they have, um, you know, it's it's a general piezo-style pickup, but it's a little different, a little unique, as, as well as their uh, preamps. Um, when I play acoustic guitar live, um, Takamini is really all I'll use right now. And that's just because they perform so great for me. The necks are so player-friendly. I've been playing them my whole life, and I don't plan to ever stop. So, um, yeah, a really cool guitar. Uh, real quick, I'll show you a little bit more of my reaction to it in the store. Tox have the best elect electronics in them anyway. Best sounding pickup, best preamps. Just this beautiful uh, gloss. I love what they do with the sound hole, how they cut it like a circle like that. Um, really cool inlays on the fretboard and then just the the headstock the way that under the logo just the way you see the head cap the wood and the head cap is so nicely finished gold tuners and i was just tuning this thing a little bit and they're just very high quality tuners they feel great the uh, well-known takamini preamp this is the same one on my guitars the neck is just a beautiful um, gloss polyurethane finish just look at that wood grain in there this is an astounding guitar man and so what's what's the price point well, considering all the nice appointments and how great it sounds, but for a great guitar, uh, that's a really good price point, and this guitar is absolutely breathtaking. The 
this is one of the nicest guitars I've ever played. I mean, I'm loving the neck. <laughs> So guys, make sure you have your eyes open for that one. And then I saw another one sitting there and I was really glad to see it. And I didn't um, get any footage of me playing this one because my phone died, but um, I, ch I checked it out and I did pick it up and play it um, after my phone had died. But here's, uh, here's a picture. Uh, that is a Takamani uh, EF341SC. And it is a very popular model. You've seen um, famous artists like John Bon Jovi, Blake Shelton, Toby Keith, Steve Warner, all use this guitar at different times, uh, and, and many others, rock guys as well. I mean, it is a great instrument, and through the years it's held up, it's been used and endorsed by many celebrities. This straight up black model with a beautiful binding. And uh, I was very excited to see it because I actually have one, but the one that I have is very old. The one I have was made in like 1991. And I've had it so long that it's beat up. It was actually my dad's guitar for many years. My dad played it on many tours. He even played it internationally in other countries over the years. And then um, when I grew up and started playing and traveling, leading worship, performing, everything, uh, it kind of became my guitar. And so I've had it for many years. And then when I moved here to Florida, it was the only acoustic electric I brought with me at the time. And uh, so I've actually kind of retired mine at this point because it's old and beat up. The white binding on it is more of a yellow binding now. The sound hole is just, uh, it's, it looks like it's a little kicked in. It's got scratches and dents all over it, but I still love to pick it up and play it. But when I picked up and played this new one yesterday, it was a thrill to me because the thing is, the one that I have has been an older guitar for quite some time. You know, a lot of the new sugars and stuff that the wood has in it are probably long since gone in mine. To pick up a brand new one and play it again was an amazing experience. I literally think, and I'm just gonna say it, at this price point, okay, which uh, I believe these sell in the twelve to $1,300 range new, I personally think in that price point that it's the best acoustic electric guitar you can buy. I just know of all the guitars that I have plugged in, um, it sounds as good or better than any other guitar I've ever plugged in. Uh, and used for live use. I know for a fact that it holds up for many years. Like mine, it still works. I could still play it. I choose to play my newer Takamanis live, but I could still play mine live if I wanted to and it would work just fine. The unplugged sound was incredible. Like even if you're not a Dreadnought player, um, you might like this one because to me, the sound, I think the woods that they used, uh, gives it a little more brightness. And I sat there and played it and I thought, man, what, this is great. I'm just enjoying myself. Like it played so great. I mean, it felt familiar to me, but I just think it's a friendly guitar to any type of hands. So make sure you check uh, that guitar out online as well. And in fact, I'll put links in the description to where you can uh, go on and buy yours if you want to just buy it outright based on my recommendation. I don't think you'll be disappointed whatsoever. So anyway, um, a brief journey, but a very cool journey. And play one of these guitars for yourself, either at your nearest guitar center or music store. I always say, you know, if you're really curious about a guitar, online purchasing is great. But if you're really wanting to know more about it before you purchase, then it's always good to go and play one for yourself. So I just wanted to talk about these cool guitars I saw yesterday, and I will have more videos about Takaminis very soon. That is the plan. So make sure you subscribe to my channel uh, and stay in touch. Let me know what your favorite acoustic electric guitars are and why. Uh, I'll probably make another video at some point explaining why talks are my favorite and why I think they work better for a performer or a worship leader or whatever you do on stage than any other guitar on the market. As always, God bless you guys and thanks so much for watching today. I just appreciate you clicking on my video and uh, hearing what I had to say today. Give me a thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, you can hit me up on other social media, Facebook, Instagram. The links to all that stuff are in this video description right here. Uh, and also I am on some crowdfunding websites if you want to help me make more and better videos. I could use your help on PayPal or Patreon, whichever you like better. But there's never any pressure to do that because at the end of the day, we're all working hard to make a living. We all got to take care of our responsibilities. If you're watching on YouTube, you may see some video thumbnails around me right now on the screen. Uh, these are thumbnails to other products that I think are great and are related and that I think you will benefit from using. And until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.